好，各位同学晚安。现在时间晚上六点半，很快的又到我们的 Catch It in the Right 小说导读的时间。好，我们对一下实体书，实体书是到第十二页完毕，然后从第十三页开始。哦，那个 Game。好，我们对一下网络的书，网络版的书是一模一样，从 Game 开始。好，对一下是一样的。好，那我们就直接开始。哦，从这个他的老师讲话开始。Has Doctor Sturmer written to your parents yet? Old Spencer asked me. He said he was going to write them Monday. Have you yourself communicated with them? No, sir. I haven't communicated with them because I'll probably see them Wednesday night when I get home. And how do you think they'll take the news? Well. They'll be pretty irritated about it," I said. "They really will. This is about the fourth school I've gone to." I shook my head. I shook my head quite a lot. "Boy," I said. I also say "boy" quite a lot, partly because I have a lousy vocabulary and partly because I act quite young for my age. Sometimes I was sixteen then, and I'm seventeen now. And sometimes I act like I'm about thirteen. It's really ironical, because I'm six foot two and a half, and I have a gray hair. I really do. The one side of my head, the right side, is full of millions of gray hairs. I've had them ever since I was a kid, and yet I still act sometimes like I was only about twelve. Everybody says that, especially my father. It's partly true, too, but it isn't all true. People always think some things are true. I don't give a damn, except that I get bored sometimes when people tell me to act my age. Sometimes I act a lot older than I am. I really do, but people never notice it. People never notice anything. Old Spencer started nodding again. He also started picking his nose. He made out like he was only pinching it. But he was really getting the old thumb right in there. 好，我们就导读到这个地方。呃，就是我们可以看到作者他在描述啊、哦、那个人的心情跟可能会有的肢体语言啊、哦，描写的非常细腻。好，我们今天就导读到这边，感谢大家。